Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Ayala. I'm the mother of two, a two-year-old and a four-month-old who is back here reading her little book. And on this channel, I share about Montessori, respectful, responsive parenting, all sorts of things like that, motherhood in general. And today we are talking all about our favorite books. So she's reading her favorite book, this little black and white book back there. But I'm talking about some of our favorite books from ages like zero to two. Basically the first two years, and these are all books my son still loves, but these are simple books and I'm going to do a more complex um, book roundup a little bit later. So this video though is some of our simple favorite board books, picture books. Um, and so I'm so excited to jump in. Okay, so I'm back. Um, she was not interested in her book anymore. <laughs> So now I have her here making lots of sweet little noises. Um, so books I'm talking about today are all Montessori aligned. So what it means to be Montessori aligned is these books are going to be reality based and more realistic. So to give a quick example, these are two books about construction. Love them both. Um, but this one is Montessori aligned and this one, not really. So some differences, this one is about a, I'll talk about this book later, but it's about, it's talking about construction, but it's got more realistic pictures, etc. This one also about construction, but like you can see that the digger has eyes. It's very cartoonish and the animals are um, really anthropomorphized. So they're given human characteristics and it's just, it's a great book, it's not Montessori aligned. So for this video, I'm gonna cover Montessori aligned books, partially because that's what we tend to gravitate towards, um, but also because it's just a way to simplify the video so I'm not talking about so, so many books. And the ones I'm gonna talk about are all books that are Montessori aligned and for I'd say like under two crowds. So my son still loves them at two, but these are books he loved prior to that. And I'll do another video later with some books that he loves now at two and I think are you know a good grow with me books that are a bit longer and stuff as he gets older. Um, so yeah that's what Montessori line means is just that these are going to be more realistic reality based books. You're not going to see fantasy elements and you're also not going to see the anthropomorphized animals or objects um, and less cartoonish more realistic. So that's what we're talking about is those both books today. Um, so you'll have, we have both realistic pictures, realistic drawings and real pictures. So the first set of books I am talking about are real picture books. So that's these, um, they're not with, um, they're not illustrations, they're real pictures. And these are super Montessori aligned because they're very, very realistic. Um, and these are a favorite in our house. So I found my son gravitated towards these in particular in the first year, maybe the first 18 months in particular, um, because they are more reality-based, they're more realistic, they really are a bit more concrete um, than the pictures, which are then drawings, which are more abstract. So I found he really gravitated towards these for the first 18 months, two years. Now he's starting to like illustrations a lot more as he, you know, is understanding a lot more of uh, abstractions of those. Anyway, so these are favorite, and I'm gonna go through some of those. So I'll just go in my pile. Um, so this one is Carry Me. This one we actually got fairly recently. It's from this Babies Everywhere set. And what I just love about this one is we're big into baby wearing, as you can see in this video and most videos. Um, and it's just really cool to see some of the different baby wearing throughout the world um, and different ways of baby wearing. Some older, like it's kind of older carriers, I feel like. I feel like this isn't what most people are. <laughs> I feel like this isn't what, what, like these ones are not like the type I see on the market anymore. Um, but it's just cool to see different countries, um, see diversity of baby wearing, love it. I love moms and dads, um, or, you know, men and women both wearing babies. So I love seeing, love this book. Um, super sweet one, not a ton of words. We tend to prefer books with a bit more words, um, but this is a sweet one that I'm excited to do with my daughter, um, and, you know, she gets a little more aware of the stuff to look at the pictures and talk about those with her more. Um, just because she has baby wearing is her life. Um, the next one is edible colors. So we also have edible numbers and I highly, highly recommend this book. So what's awesome about this book, it's real pictures and it shows diversity of different 
fruits and vegetables. So did you know, for example, that corn can be purple or asparagus can be purple? We love to search for these at the store, um, the different fruits and vegetables, and often you don't really find them, but we found a few and it's so fun to get this. Um, we actually saw these bananas recently, the red bananas, um, but it's so cool to see those. And I think it can be really helpful if you have a child who's a little more particular um, as a way to branch out into some different things to try some of the different colored fruits and vegetables. So we absolutely love this book. Again, not a ton of words. There's also Edible Numbers, which is a counting book we also have. But he, he really sort of learned his colors from this. I think that this book was primarily where he started to learn his colors. Next one, um, this one is cute. So kiss means I love you. A kiss means I love you. Well, wave means hello. Um, and it's got a little bit of a rhyme. And it's very, very sweet. Also a lot of diversity. Um, yeah, also yeah, a bit of a rhyme and a little bit of diversity. Which reminds me, I actually don't think that I have, there's another book, which I will put a picture of. Um, called Hands Can. And that one, I don't know, I did not find it in my stack when I was bringing them. That's also, I don't know, we tend to think of them together. I think I bought them together. Um, but that's another also similar book. And that one's all about hands and what hands can do. So we like some of those <laughs> real picture books. Um, let's see, do we have any more? Babies Up, Babies Down. This is an Opposites one. So that's just a pretty simple book. Um, but it's a nice opposites book and we like this one a lot. Other real picture books. Oh my goodness, this is a favorite. This is the Babies and Kitties book. We also have the Babies and Doggies book and they just released this year and we got it this spring, the Babies and Bunnies book. These books are so cute. So it's all about similarities between babies and the animal for the book. So, so cute. It's just like such a sweet book. Um, again, not a ton of words, but um, it's a cute rhyme and super cute. I think it's a rhyme, right? Yes. It's a, rhyme. it's a cute little sweet rhyme. Love these. So if you like dogs, get the dog one. If you like bunnies, get the bunny one. If you like cats, get this one. Um, or if you just like the book, get them all, which is what we did. Um, so last in real picture books is a section of itself, which is our, the Love Every books. So Love Every does real picture books. And it's hard for me to talk about them because I do think they're really the best real picture books. Um, they're the only ones that sort of have, I've seen that have like longer things. So this is from one of the older kits. Um, as you can see, there are a lot of like, it's a longer story. Um, but this is a young one. So this is, you know, where it's starting. Our absolute favorite one right now is this is Captain Shelby. So this is one of the ones at his level. Um, and you can just see it's a really good book. And he loves firefighters. I think because of this book, honestly, um, he always wants to go to California to visit Captain Shelby. So at Love Every, we're looking for that. Anyway, um, I don't think she actually exists. But this is a great one to learn about fire trucks. And yeah, this is our favorite right now. So this gives you a bit of an image of what a two-year-old book from Love Every looks like. But we love these because they really do grow with a child. So right now the ones he's getting at two are really a good level with a bit more of a story and more going on um, because he has a longer attention span now. And even though we still love this book and we love all of these um, ones that are real pictures, so many of them don't have a ton of words on it. And it's really nice to have some longer ones. He also loves, I think this is from a th one of the three-year-old kids. He also loves ones like this that have a longer story, but my son tends to have a bit of a longer attention span, I think, than a lot of toddlers for books. He's really into books, um, so he'll like the longer ones, but like the two-year-old ones right now are a perfect level for him. And so unfortunately, they don't sell those separately. So I highly recommend looking, if you're not a, if you're not a Love Every subscriber, um, to look on Marketplace, things like that. Unfortunately, they, send them, they sell them for kind of a lot of money. I think it's a bit ridiculous how much people resell them for. Um, but if you are a subscriber, add the book bundles. Highly, highly recommend just because the books are honestly, I think the absolute best part of, I mean, I, I do love Lover, but they're, I think the books have been our absolute favorite part. They're like, there's really nothing quite like these books. Um, and this one, by the way, this is like the sweetest little story. Sweetest little book. 
so cute. Um, I also like, on all of these books, like all the real picture ones, I love the diversity, but I love that these ones um, feature some different cultures and things like that. We actually have not um, explored this one much yet because we just got this one. Um, but we have one about a Native American girl. They're trying to think of what else. There's like a lot of diversity in these books, which is just so fun to learn about different people. We've got my little pterodactyl here. Okay, so those were our real picture books. So now I'm gonna get into illustrated books. So as I mentioned, Montessori um, is more, has more realistic books. So these ones are also more realistic. They're just illustrations rather than real pictures. So for realistic drawings, this book is our absolute favorite. We've had this since my son was younger than Maggie. Like I think we got it right, which, right after he was born. And it's so sweet. It's just all about different babies and different things babies do. <laughs> different things babies do. Um, you know, I love how it shows like really like responsive care too. Like, you know, tired parents, but you know, tired parents rocking the cradle. It's just like, it's very sweet to see sort of from a parent's perspective, you know, you're seeing them loving their babies, but also exhausted. <laughs> and I think that's really sweet. Um, but it's really just such a sweet book, beautiful illustrations, um, highly, highly recommend this one. This is one of our favorites. But the same illustrator is this book, All the World. So this one is also so sweet. So we've, we got it soon after getting Everywhere Babies, because we loved it and like I saw that this illustrator did other books. So I just think it's beautiful illustrations. Um, so this is All the World and it's just a sweet poem. Um, not, a, not a ton of words, um, but it's still just really sweet and a lot to talk about. So we really liked, um, as he got a little older, he started, it has a good rhythm and he started filling in words um, let's see, he started particularly filling in all the world, let's see if I can find it, all the world is cold and hot, he would fill in hot, because that was one of the first words he was, it was one of his first words, so he loved this book for a while, it's a really nice, it's just a really nice, pretty, sweet book, again. Next up, also got this one. I remember I ordered this the same time I ordered Everywhere Babies. I think this was from some Montessori account. So a couple of years ago, their recommendation were these two. Um, it says more, 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 said the baby. Also, it's just sweet. This is also a very sweet one. It has three little love stories um, with three different caregivers and baby pairs. So it's sweet illustrations and all about just loving and caring for the baby um, and just playing with the baby, playing with them and you know, chasing them and all of that. Like I mean, it uh, has to run like anything just to catch that baby up. But it's just sweet, sweet play. Um, and just very pretty, bright colors. Um, this is a fun book to read. It's an award winner, you can see on here. And we love this one. It's a very, very sweet book. So next up, similar illustrations to the Everywhere Babies, but not by the same illustrator. Also, you know, realistic um, drawings. This Baby Be Kind, and it's another just sweet, simple book all about being kind. And this also, he would fill in hot. That was one of his favorites to fill in that. I find it's really nice when they are first starting to talk to have been able to fill in some of those words, to find these books that are simple and have some of those easy first words they're saying. Next up, if you also love to cook like we do, this is a sweet one, Soup Day. It's all about a mom and her daughter making soup and they're going to the store and then they get the, all the ingredients and they prepare the soup together. Um, and it's just a very, very sweet book, um, all about making soup together and realistic. Um, if your child likes being in the kitchen, it's a great one. Um, so for us, we cook a lot together then I actually have a project that involves this book, so stay tuned for that. Um, but it's just a very sweet book um, that has a nice, you know, a nice little story. The mom's cooking and playing with the daughter, which I love. This one, this is Busy Squirrel. So this is about an animal, um, but it's not anthropomorphized at all. This is an animal doing a very animal thing. So 
Uh, the squirrel is going, or the squirrel, I guess, is going around and collecting acorns. And its leaves are falling, so it's fall. So a very good seasonal book for fall in particular. Um, but the squirrel's going around. And all of the, um, all the, all the mice, like they do talk. So I mean, I guess that's not super realistic, but I don't know. I think, I don't really think of that as anthropomorphizing in the same way because they're all doing, you know, very animally things. Um, and so they're just doing what they're doing and the squirrel is collecting food for winter. Um, and then at the end, it'll come here and all the, the animals also say their, say the sounds they make. And at the end, He's fast asleep after having gathered all the food that squirrel needs for winter. So that's a cute fall book, perfect seasonal one. Except is this one pressier. So this one's a bit different, but I just, it's a fun book um, that I just thought I'd mention. You can see we have gotten good use out of it. Um, which, by the way, this book, we have another one completely torn up. So we had to buy a new one. That means you loved the book though. Um, so this one, it's just, it's a fun book. It's a fun interactive one. So I like that. You can talk about colors, talk about counting. It has all of that going on. It's just a fun one, um, a little bit different. Which reminds me of this book. I love this book. One of my law professors actually bought me this book. So I had my son my last year of law school at the very, very end, and she bought this for me. And it's such a good book. It's just a great book about making mistakes and about that, you know, mistakes are not always, you know, we can find good in mistakes, you know, oops, a torn piece of paper, you know, it's just, the, it can turn into, you know, everything can turn, all these mistakes can turn into something great, which is, I really think just doing art and stuff is such a good message for children, you know, that if you spill your paint, oh, but what can it turn into? All of these different things. So we really love this book. It's just such a, such a sweet book. This is also my son's favorite book for like independently reading. He loves to just look through this one. There are a lot of interactive components and it's just very, very fun that way. Like this is his favorite page, really fun and an awesome message. So that's a bit of a different book. Highly recommend this one. Getting towards the end here, I'm going to talk about a couple construction books. So I teased you with this one earlier. If you have a child like mine who loves construction, my son loves construction. Um, these are great. So this one is all about dig the ground, bore, um, dig the ground, bore down into mud. Yeah, so here they're building, they're building a building. And in the end, I'll go to the end, they built a library, but it's so much fun. He loves this book and I love it too. Um, it has the sounds of the onomatopoeia, um, the sounds made by the different tools, which is super fun, and just all the different vehicles. He loves pointing them out because he loves construction so much. It's just a very, very fun book. So this one's great if your child loves construction, as is this one. So this one focuses on what a construction worker is doing, um, working that day, um, all the different parts of construction project. And so that's super fun, realistic if your child loves construction. So as I mentioned, you know, we tend to prioritize these realistic, more Montessori line books. We do love, you know, good night, good night construction site, the sticker one, things like that. We do love those, um, but I really like finding some of these that are a bit more realistic um, and just reality based. Thank you so much for joining. I hope this video gave you some ideas of some books for your under two year old or your two year old for your um, child, your baby, because these are books we have loved in the first two years of my son's life. And again, as I mentioned, we still read all of these all the time. I'd say every one of these books I read at least weekly and more, most of them multiple times per week. Um, we just love books. So we still read these books all the time, but these were our favorites in the first couple years um, and just super special books. Some that I'm super excited to be introducing to my daughter soon and all books I highly, highly recommend. Um, so check these books out. Um, I have them linked below. And let me know what your favorite book is. So let me know in a comment, what is your favorite book for this age group? And stay tuned for another one, our two-year-old favorites for books. 
Um, and I might wait a little bit because he gets a little older, but I'm going to share some of our favorites that are a bit longer books. So we tend to be really liking a bit longer books as well right now. So thank you so much for joining um, and have a good day.